utilizing certain colors of light by way of the eyes affects many, many very, very important regulatory functions of the body. Many children who have learning difficulties, their field of vision is very small. So rather than seeing space as a whole, they perceive space through a hole. And with the application of certain colors, their field of vision dramatically opens. Very fascinating. Light medicine of the future. Jacob Lieberman. Health is always a matter of staying in balance. One of the major portions of the brain known as the pineal acts as the body's light meter. It tells every cell in the body what's happening in terms of light levels externally so that the cells in the body can orchestrate their function and then synchronize themselves to nature. In the vision care field, people came in, said, I can't see the blackboard, I can't see to read. Then you would give them a pair of glasses. Then they came back a year later and they said, I can't see again. And then every year it was, I can't see. They kept coming back with the same complaints and we kept giving them the same treatment. And what I started realizing after wearing nine or ten pair of glasses myself is, if the problem continues to get worse, the solution cannot possibly be the solution. Over the past 30 years, he's helped tens of thousands of people, including thousands of children, improve their vision and their lives. He's a recognized authority on light and vision therapy, and is the author of the best-selling book, Take Off Your Glasses and See, Dr. Jacob Lieberman. Most people don't recognize that the eyes are actual extensions of the brain. When you're training the eyes, you are directly training the brain. So when the vision system learns how to see differently, the brain learns how to see and respond differently. It's what guides every move we make. And that's exactly what the iPort vision training system does. The iPort is the most efficient, most effective and most comprehensive product of its type ever developed. There isn't anything else like it. Exercising my eyes changed me from a life of having difficulty in school and quite frankly feeling stupid to realizing that I could do whatever I needed to do with my vision from playing sports to reading and so on. If you exercise your eyes, it makes all the difference between weak, inefficient vision and vision that is strong, resilient, accurate, that has a lot of speed, that can respond quickly to any situation. If you exercise your eyes, you can change everything from the way you read, your attention, your concentration ability, hitting the ball on the golf course or on the tennis court, driving a car. It makes no difference. If it requires your vision, you can improve on it just by exercising them. I remember when you first came in, you were wearing the little uh, prescription readers and so on. Exactly. I don't need to wear them anymore. Wow. Yeah, it's really quite wonderful. After you began working, you had had your, your yearly vision examination. Yes, I worked with the instrument 10 days. And I went to my friend, who's an optometrist, for my examination. She found my prescription to be half of what it was. Wow. Mm -hmm. Went from 2040 to 2020. Wow. Phenomenal. I'm thrilled. Uh, you had mentioned something about your tennis game. I think yeah. you're a tennis uh, player. You know, it wasn't a problem that I couldn't see the ball. Yeah. I had the same experience mm -hmm. with the two lights. And after just a few days, when they came together, my tennis game got better. There's just something yeah. inside that clicked other than just my vision. It's just yeah, what we were talking about, the inner vision mm -hmm. has changed as well. And you can't prove it, but you certainly can feel it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> when you begin training in a dynamic way, you do balance the way the brain works. Mm -hmm. You balance the information coming into the eyes and what happens is there's more of you seeing and there's mm -hmm. more of you responding. The main thing that moved me was going into practice and noticing that most of the people that were coming into the office had deteriorating vision. Every year they need stronger and stronger lenses. What was worse than that is that I noticed that young children, when they entered school, didn't need any glasses. But by the end of fifth grade, almost 80% of them had measurable vision problems. And by the time they graduated from college, about 90% of them were wearing glasses. You know, it's a huge epidemic. 80% of a child's school day is looking at 16, 14, or 13 inches away from their face as they're reading. The system gets into a cramp and when they look up, it takes a few seconds for that cramp to release. But once you hold the eyes that way for a long period of time, that cramp becomes permanent. And so what happens is these kids, they start feeling a stickiness in their vision, an inability for their vision to be resilient. So they start getting tired when they're reading or words move around on the page or they skip words and lines. They can't keep their place. And it ends up costing them in terms of their ability to learn. 
One of the beautiful aspects of exercising your eyes is it allows you to see exactly where you're looking. Only about 30% of the population are actually looking where they think they're looking. Most people think they're looking at a spot, but are actually converging their eyes too much or not enough. They're looking too close to themselves or a little further away. And so what happens is every time they hit the ball, whether it's a tennis ball or a golf ball, they hit it in a different place than they think they're aiming at. So exercising your eyes allows you to see where you're seeing, allows you to line that up, and once that lines up, you'll hit the ball on the sweet spot every time. You'll be surprised at how much stronger your eyes feel, how much better they work together. And with regular maintenance, you'll see that new vision just continue to improve.